you know what i kind of wonder where this uh where these railroad tracks go because it looks like they haven't been used in a while like uh, at the far end it looks like there is a uh, a gate over there but actually i do know where i am at but first off what's up you guys chet guthrie the dream poet here coming to you all with another rainy vlog kind of reminds me of uh the last video i did in tunnel hill georgia that was not a fun video to make but anyway guys i am here in hartwell georgia today and I am here to check out a couple of abandoned locomotives, as well as a few abandoned railroad tracks. And of all things, there is an abandoned, uh, oh, what do you call it? An abandoned turntable where a locomotive or train cars will go around, they'll go on the turntable, or engineers, they'll push the locomotive in the uh, desired lo or direction. And that's how it works. But if you want to know more about Hartwell, Georgia and its train history, you see way back in 1878, this area was chartered by a local railroad company and the, it was a 10 mile stretch of track. This 10 mile stretch of track, it went here from Hartwell to Bowersville, which is about 10 miles that way. And this railroad operated for the better part of about 40 years, it, sl it slowed down in 1902, and I believe it did run for a few years after. Why I say 1902 is when they slowed down is, that's when this 10-mile uh, this stretch of railroad track was bought up by another company. And from around that time, it, it ceased to really see any operations. Now that you all know a little bit of history about the, the Hartwell Railroad, <laughs> the Hartwell railroad let's check out these abandoned railroad cars this is an old passenger car obviously it has seen better days oh i, I tripped him i fell that's not too good but i think probably one of the coolest things that is about this passenger car is it has hartwell written <laughs> on the top of it and right behind it, here is an old school caboose. Although I'd probably say this caboose is seen a little bit worse for wear. Um, just before I got here, it looked in, it looked like it was in some pretty rough shape. Like the back of it, it looks like it has fallen in. Maybe somebody cut fire to it, maybe. I mean, which I hate that because I love these old school cabooses. Yeah, it absolutely sucks seeing an old school caboose like this just absolutely gone on hard times. And I'll show you all what I'm talking about. Let's get out from the bushes. And this is what I'm talking about. I mean, like the whole half side of this caboose is literally gone. I just hate that. Looks like says Central Georgia Railroad maybe? Central Georgia. But since it is raining, let's check out this first railroad car. Let's see what's inside of it. I wanna get out of the rain for just a minute. It is like uh, the bad day in Tunnel Hill versus um, the uh, versus that one time that I found that caboose. Well, actually, a friend of mine shared the coordinates of that one. That was out in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Gosh, that looks so beat up. Now, first off, we have to be careful. Looks like a hole is rotted through, which means this passenger car has seen some, some better days because there's a big giant hole right there. Just think, way, way back in the day when railroads were the main transportation, imagine just how many people came and went here. Who knows, maybe even a couple of celebrities went in, or went and traveled in this car. Probably not. Looks like this is more or less just a passenger car or a passenger um, car. 
maybe I wouldn't say lower class maybe maybe middle class transportation and this is cool you do not see old school seats like that anymore and you don't see glass like that either obviously come out from a window Let's see what huh there's not really a whole lot of anything in there and of course looks like some people have really made sure that some people can't get hurt so i'll be careful but i do want to point out look how they used to do it way back when how maybe conductors and engineers would just sit in these different cars i mean that is amazing those old school light fixtures as well I don't know in the comments below let me know if you all know all how old this particular passenger car is looks like it can be saved I mean it would just cost a lot of the money for it to be saved like that big giant hole right there that that's not really good to have a big giant hole like that Carl that's bad that hurts people I'm sorry I just kind of like these old school seats it's like they have an old school one of those old school boxes as well so let's see what the caboose is all about it looks like there is some some stuff that's left now it looks like it will be a little bit easier to cross looks like we won't really have to get up and crawl on it either which i guess maybe that's one of my main things is i don't want to get hurt but at the same time i'm just a tad bit lazy so we're gonna cross around here now let's see what's inside the caboose probably not a whole whole lot oh now that's cool that's one of those old school stoves oh my gosh oh my gosh now we have to be careful because i don't want to fall through but dude oh my gosh it's, it's an old school old, old an old school heater you know you throw wood and other stuff in the the caboose car and this is what would heat it all well and look they even have the uh they even have an old uh an old washer pete well an old uh sink but oh dude check this out these are some old school seats where they the conductors and other engineers used to sit and watch as everything was going on and you can tell that this is old I mean, this wood is from a bygone era. So let's fill up it real quick. Looks like we do have the opportunity, so let's take it. Oh, now this is really, really cool. This is awesome. Dude. They're telling how many stories or how many people or other engineers saw as this caboose was was uh, was in operation I mean dude looks like you can even like cross it oh that that is so sad though that it it's all falling apart or falling on hard times I buy it from Hartsville or Hartwell, Georgia, and I'd turn it into something really cool. Or at least that's what I would do. Now to get back to the exploring. Here is the room that is completely gone. This is where, if you would really want to renovate this thing, this is where all the expensive stuff would come from. I wonder what's in here. Looks like some old plumbing. But still, this is really, really cool. Really, 
really awesome. Anyway, you guys, now that we've seen the two big things, let's 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 see what we came to see. Something that I have never seen in my my lifetime, and that is an abandoned railroad turntable. And of all things, it is out here in Hartwell, Georgia. <laughs> that is really, really, that is just so interesting that a northeast Georgia town has something so rare. Let's check the, uh, the caboose out one more time as we're coming to check out the turntable. Oh, that's an old school, that is a cool old school sink. You do not see that that often anymore. So now I guess we got to get down that way. Alrighty. I've never seen one of these before and I think it is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen to date. Mostly because I am a railroad nerd. I grew up with trains and this is one of those things that I, I, I've never seen before. Like one that I can actually look at. And here it is. The old Hartwell Georgia turntable. Just think, these big giants, steam breathing giants, diesel giants, way back when they would get on this turntable and this is where men would get on the side right over here and they would push these cars and these trains around in different positions and this is one of like i said this is so fascinating like <laughs> i've never seen one of these before this is so cool and now once again i say just check out how old these abandoned tracks are like this is from a bygone era like look at that the train tra tracks seemingly, seemingly disappear into nowhere, but yet you have places like this. I mean, this is just crazy, but this is an old school turntable. This is how they used to do it. Old railroad tracks winding around in a circle. And from there, the trains would be pushed that way. Now, honestly, it probably would have taken six, seven, eight men maybe to push one train car. Or it really just depends on how well balanced this particular turntable is. I mean, that's where the real question comes into play. I'm, I'm baffled right now. This is so neat. So now this thing has been uh, something that I've been wanting to check that I, I really don't know what it is, but I've been seeing it on various other pictures and Google Maps. But now that I know what it is, this is an old school pressure car. Dude, oh my God. It's an old school pressure car or like a maintenance car what have you oh my gosh <laughs> dude that is so neat and I really wanted to get up close to this turntable I mean oh my gosh <laughs> gotta think this was from a simpler time in a simpler place and this turntable has an amazing story this was worth the drive very much worth the drive this is really cool now from what i hear the old uh the old train depot it is still in existence so i think while we're here we're gonna check out the train depot I mean it's it's not even not even a mile down the road and by the way there there is the caboose in the passenger cars again I'm sorry this I just love walking by these things these things are absolutely amazing to look at absolutely amazing but I do not like 
that it is a rainy day. That is the only thing that I do not like. But real quick, before we go to the train depot, let's, let's check out this little building. I imagine it was probably used, used during the days when this, uh, this area was a locomotive town or a railroading area. Looks like it's a nice little brick building. Looks like somebody has been taking care of it. Although I really don't know the story behind it. Like I'd like to think that it's a part of a part of the railroading area. Or it looks like it's looks like it is locked up. So yeah, it's probably still being used. This place is awesome. So now let's check out the train depot. And I think this is going to be another vlog for another day. I feel like these type of photo ops are becoming more and more of a common theme. And I think where it all originated was from Nashville. Or maybe Pigeon Forge, but I think it's really Nashville. But as you all read, this is the Railroad Street Park here in Hartwell, Georgia. And right over there, that is the original train depot. But I think what is the coolest thing is these used to be the railroad tracks. Like, I mean, obviously they're no longer here. I mean, it's mostly just a play town or playground area. But if you look just hard enough, you can see where, where an entire community or an entire railroading community once began. And obviously, where the tra tracks start, they end. You gotta think. There used to be so much life in this area. Well, maybe not so much Hartwell, but this exact spot. And I think this is also all original. This depot spot right here where people would wait for the train cars to come in, for the trains to come in and go. Although, obviously, it's, it's pretty rainy. And I don't like the rain, but I do like the fact that you can still see the railroad tracks where this, uh, this area of Georgia was so lively with railroading, but it's a park now. Who would have thought it has become a park? So now let's walk out in the rain again. And let's check out this renovated train depot. Looks like it is partially a museum, maybe. Looks like you can look inside and you can get an idea of what it looked like. I mean, it does look like it is in great shape. I like how just randomly there's an old school Ford right there and a, uh, a Welcome to Hartwell painting, established 1856. I don't really know a whole lot about this town, but they definitely, they are definitely some cool people. Depot Marketplace, dedicated in memory of Nick, Nicky Meyer. Obviously, that looks like that building is a bit worn out, but if you look, you can see where more of the tracks used to connect. And this is Railroad Street Park Hartwell Depot, built in 1879, remodeled in 2020. So, this depot was renovated in 2020, and it has been around that long <laughs> and they have one of those old school stoves and if you look like just right ahead that's uh, I believe that's where you would get your tickets train departs although it probably hasn't seen a train in over a hundred years probably more or less but I'm fine with that this place is awesome there is so much here. There's so much history here. 
in one teeny tiny spot than I think I've seen in quite a few other places. There's the waiting room again. This is really, really cool. But anyway, you guys, I think this is going to be another vlog for another day. I am wet. I am cold. Well, I mean, not so much cold, but I am wet. But this place is amazing. Like, all of it. Like, this is about three and a half hours from home, but it is totally worth it down to the bare line. This is really cool. But anyway, you guys, remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care. And that y'all want to see more awesome videos. So without further ado, you guys, this vlog is over.